Hello, in this video we're going to learn how to find limits without graphs. What do I mean by that? If I give you an example, how do you find limit? It's approaching 1, but now there is no graph. Instead of a graph, I give you the function. And the question is, find the answer. So now this is pretty straightforward. All you have to do is, in place of x, you have to plug in the value. So what you have to do is, 1 square plus 1, which is 2. So pretty straightforward. Step 1, in place of x, just plug in the value. One more. Okay, one more. If I give you a limit, x approaching 2 with a minus, and something like this, x plus 3. Now the question is, will you look to the left of 2 or the right of 2? Remember, if you're doing without graphs, it doesn't matter if it's 2 minus to plus. All you have to do is, in place of x, just plug in the value, 2. Don't worry about the sign. So just plug in 2, you should get 2 plus 3. Plus 5. And that's the answer. Straightforward. In place of x, plug in the value. One more. I give you a limit. Now let's see. X of chain, say 0. X squared plus 2x divided by x. Now problems like these, you can do it in two steps. Step one, just follow your normal procedure. In place of x, plug in zero. You get zero divided by zero. Right, because zero plus zero is zero divided by zero. When something like this happens, you need to do one more step to check if this is if this can be simplified. So what you should do in step two is try to simplify the fraction. What you do is now what is common on the top? What is common is x. So factor out the x. Okay, now, let me check. Does anything cancel out? x and x cancels out. So x plus 2. And then in place of x, you plug in 0. So what is 0 plus 2? So the answer is 2. It's not 0 divided by 0. The answer is 2. So the limit of this function is 2. If this function was f of x, if I find f of 0, then it does not exist. Because 0 divided by 0 does not exist. So if you think about the graph of this, at the point 0, there will be a hole. Okay, so the function does not exist, but the limit exists. So this function is not continuous at equal 0. If you remember the earlier graphing with limits. Let's do one more. Similar idea, two steps. I give you a limit. X approaching, say, 1. X square plus, say, 4x plus 3 divided by x plus 1. Okay, I give you a 
problem like this. You should always start your problem with the first step by plugging in the value 1. Okay, if you plug in 1 here on the top, okay, let's do this minus 1. It should be x minus 1. Okay, in the top, well, let this be plus one and this be minus one. Right, let's do this. Hopefully, now it should work. In place of x, plug in minus one. You should get minus one squared. That's four times minus one. 3 divided by minus 1 plus 1. What do you get? This is 4 minus 4 divided by 0, which is 0 over 0. When this happens, it means you need to move on to step 2. Now, step 2 here is try to simplify the problem. So, try to factorize the top. I'm hoping uh, you remember how to factorize this. The two factor factors are x plus 3 and x plus 1. Plus 1 on the top. Keep the bottom as it is. And then check. Does anything cancel out? So the x plus 1 and the x plus 1 cancels out. You're left with x plus 3. And then in place of x, you plug in minus 1. The final answer is 2. Or well, just a coincidence that the answer is 2, as previous one. But this is the method to solve any problem that involves 0 over 0. You have to simplify. Let's do one more. Hopefully, I should get. Okay, hopefully I should get the function right. So x squared, so let's do 8x, 12 divided by x squared minus 4. Let's do it in two steps. Step 1, as it is, in place of x, plug in minus 2. You get 16. 16 over 4 minus 4. 0 divided by 0. And that happens, you need to do step 2. Try to factorize the top. And try to factorize the bottom because there's a square here. Now, what is the factorization of the top? x plus 6. x plus 2, okay. the bottom is x plus 2, x minus 2. I'm hoping you remember this, how to do this. If not, just recap about how to factorize the quadratic. And then you check, does anything cancel out? This and this cancels. You're left with x plus 6, x minus 2. And then in place of x, plug in negative 2. So get negative 2 plus x. Divide negative 2, negative 2. Which is 4 divided by negative 4. So the answer is minus 1. So any such problem where you end up with 0 over 0, and where you can simplify using factorizing, do it in two steps. Okay, let's just do one more. Let's try one more. I give you limit x, row 
approaching minus one now. The top is x minus one. The bottom is x squared seven x plus six. So do it step one. You will get zero over zero the same way. Step two. Factorize the top, factorize the bottom. What is the factorization of the top? It is x plus 1, x minus 1. And the bottom is x plus 6, x plus 1. And then check, does anything cancel out? This one with this one, x minus 1 over x plus 6. And then in place of x, you plug in negative 1, get negative 1, negative 1 over negative 1 plus 6. That gives you negative 2 over, and that's your answer. Hope the concept makes sense. If you have any questions, you can type